All right, we're looking to find the missing endpoint. We're given an endpoint and a midpoint. If we can recall, our midpoint formula is x comma y. The midpoint is equal to the two endpoints averaged up, x1 plus x2, divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2, divided by 2. To make our lives a little bit easier, let's match everything up. Our midpoint, x comma y, or x y, not comma needed, x1, y1. Let's plug her on into the formula so we know what we're doing. So we have 7 comma negative 10 is equal to, oh look at that, we can't do that, x, make it's great that we organize, right? So we have 1 comma negative 4 is equal to 7 plus x2 divided by 2 comma negative 10 plus y2 divided by 2. We do have to create our y or t chart to kind of figure out what we're missing. We need to solve for the x's. and for our y values. All right, so this is for the x, and this is for our y. I'll plug her on in. One is equal to seven plus x two divided by two, and for our y, negative four is equal to negative 10 plus y two divided by two. From here, we're doing our invert reverse operations, so we need to get that denominator out of here. The way we get rid of denominators is through multiplication. Cancels, so we have two is equal to seven plus x two. Inverse of addition, subtraction, negative five is equal to x two. That's our first endpoint for the our first point of the endpoint. Now we just need to know the y on the altitude of this point. So rewrite it so we can just show our steps clearly. Negative four is equal to negative 10 plus y sub two divided by two. From here, the inverse of division is multiplication. Cancel that out. So we get negative eight is equal to negative 10 plus y two. Get rid of that negative 10. The inverse of subtraction is addition. Negative 8 plus 10 gives us negative 2, or positive 2 equals y2. So our final answer, the endpoint that's missing, ooh, our endpoint that's missing would be at negative 5, 2. Negative 5, 2. All right, that's it.